So Javi Baez was taken out of the starting lineup in the middle of a game, and it's got a lot of attention because, well, one, it's Javi Baez. He's a big-name player. He's paid a whole lot of money. And there were also cameras playing when manager A.J. Hinge took him down out of the dugout and into the hallway leading to the clubhouse to remove him from the game. So this has been boiling for some time. There's been a lot of mental mistakes by Javi. And then in this game, we have him think he hit a homer when he didn't. And then while he's on second base with one out, he doesn't know the outs. He starts to run the third and gets doubled off on a fly ball to center field. Now, Javi is struggling this year. He's hitting under 150. And I've been there before. I know that you can get really frustrated. And sometimes your head isn't totally in ball games. But we used to always harp on no matter how bad things are going, you always need to control the controllables, the things that you were under control of. And we would oftentimes say that that was ACE, and it was an acronym for your attitude, your concentration, and your effort. And so he's really breaking the three rules here. Running hard on a batted ball is simply your attitude and your effort. And knowing how many outs there are on the bases is just your concentration. And because of that, manager A.J. Hench takes him out of the game. Now, a lot of people have asked me how the interactions go between managers and players, and do managers scream and yell at players at the major league level? And in my experience, managers treat players more like men and not like kids, so they don't scream and yell a lot. But managers are definitely stern with players, and it does depend a little bit on who your manager is. Everyone has a different personality. Some managers are more fiery than others. I played for Buddy Black, and Buddy was one of the nicest people I ever saw. That doesn't mean he didn't hold players accountable, but he would talk to you in a very nice way. Now, there are other managers that probably rip into you a little bit more. I never played for one at the big league level, but I definitely played for managers in the minor league level that won't exactly be super kind with words. Now, the one common theme is almost every manager I've ever seen at that level is going to do so in private. So they're either going to call you into their office or they're going to take you down into the hallway that leads to the dugout. And that's what A.J. Hinch does here. So he doesn't scream and yell at him where cameras can see in front of his teammates. He brings him down where no one can see and takes him out of the game. Now, it seemed like it was pretty quick. I'm sure he probably just said, you're done for the day. And depending on how pissed he is and how long this has been going on, maybe he added in some other colorful words. But after the game, there's no doubt that there's going to be a meeting between him and Javi in his office. And they're probably going to go over a lot of the things that I mentioned earlier. His attitude, his concentration level, and his effort. So that's how it usually goes between players and managers. Hopefully Javi can figure it out. He's a talented player, but he has ups and downs. And sometimes he seems to have some lapses in these areas. So let me know if you have any more questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, give a thumbs up, all that good stuff. And we'll talk to you later.